Yes. Your Quran says it's clear guidance, correct? Yeah. That it's clear Arabic, yes. But we're identifying in the Quran meaningless words no. that don't communicate. So what is communicated no. by the word so, Allah is appreciative? Said, Tell me what that means. Can I be happy with you and appreciative because I'm happy with you? Yes or not? You were created to be in Khan, yes. So, so, so. Yes, right. yes. Right. God has the same exact thing, but is Same it's exact in, thing. But it's in a way that is not like us. That's it. If he's so, happy, his happiness isn't the same as your happiness. Same as your God has his... His, his, his um, spirit was Did you hear the contradiction in your own words? Did you hear the contradiction in your own words? You said, you said, on one hand, Allah has the same thing in the same exact way, and then you said, but not in the way that we, uh, 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 for us. So is it the same exact way or not? His happiness isn't like our happiness, his anger isn't like our anger. That, that's how it works. So what, what, what is his happiness? Spirit is the same so what, what happens? Is your God's spirit the same as your spirit or not? In the sense that I have a substance? No. Yes. yes. In the sense that God has a so substance? You have the same as God. So let me, I'm going to address that very point. See, I'm not running from the topic and I'm not Am dancing. I? Okay, no, not yet, not yet, right? So when we say that we have a spirit, yes. what we're saying is that we have a, a characteristic. Mm -hmm. Now, the word spirit, when it was talking about the created things, again, it's talking of a substance. So it's talking of a like substance. That? So let me finish. You, see, you can, uh, yeah. It's just a it, yeah, 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 exactly, a exactly. It's a, it's a substance. When it says that God has a spirit, it, it's a substance. When the ancients talked about spirit, they thought of it as a like almost like a material property. So when the, yeah, that is how the ancients thought about spirit, bro. I'm educating you now. They thought about it like it was a material property. Who are so the ancients? The ancients, just Greco-Roman culture, right? So the, 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 when scripture is talking into that context, you've got to understand it's men communicating to men by the inspiration of God's spirit to communicate things about God. In the doctrine of analogy, which is there in Augustine, which is there in Thomas Aquinas, Christians have a belief that words fail. And we understand that, we accept that. But you have to agree with everything the Quran says about itself. And the Quran says it is clear guidance. The Quran says it explains, the Quran says it explains, people in the audience can decide. The Quran says, the, the Quran says, the Quran says, the Quran says that it is an explanation of all things. The Quran says that it is clear guidance and clear Arabic. So then when I point out to you that the Quran describes Allah as appreciative, you then fall into a logical contradiction because you say that that word appreciative means something that we must understand, but then anything that I say, well, what do we understand about it? You say, well, it's not that. And that is a problem. So I'll ask you again, what does it mean to say that Allah appreciates what you do? So, what does that mean? One thing, I've, answered, I've asked you a question you did not answer, have you, Rob? I, I said, is I think I did. your substance the same as the substance of God? No. 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 So what is it? Right, so a substance, a substance is a, a form of being. What Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish a form of being and I'm not going to let you get away with uh, uh, dodging the problem that I've presented to you in the Quran but a form of being so that means that I have a form of being what is that it is to be a physical body that has a, a spirit in that body that has a mortal life that will uh, that, that is dependent upon necessary needs like food and so on God has a substance he has an essence and we say as Christians that that essence is unknowable. Not, yeah. Now hold on one second. Happy. Let me finish. Let yes, me finish. What? Well, let me finish. Let me finish. No, hold on. Yes. You. That's not the same. That, is that isn't the same. the same. Because no. I said, I said, I have a substance. Yes. I said that God has a substance. I say, I'm but happy. I said, I say God is happy. right. Our hold on one second. The same, but the happy? word happy is a re the the word appreciative is relational. Relational. Between a person, yes, e between persons, because, correct? Which means if you yeah. Good, so now hold on. Well, I'm now answer the question. The no one second. Noah. No it's one second. Noah. When? No. 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 Are you just going to try and talk on me? Sorry, so you're saying that Allah is appreciative, yes. but then you're saying that anything you can think or imagine by the word appreciative, it's not that. Is that correct? Um, no. Go, so therefore, right. if you're not saying then that, you so you think. can tell me. What is being communicated when we say that Allah is appreciative? Tell me what it means.
same as in your book, when God... Same. No Go on. My man-made, man-written book. Yes. Yeah, great. It's, it's cool. So the Quran is no better than a man-made no, book. No, no, Brilliant. No, 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 thank you. Thank you. Hypocrisy. Thank you. Yes, thank you. You, you. you believe in a thing. But no, you're still not answering my question. No, 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 no. What no. does appreciative, what, what does appreciative you know mean? When he was inside of his ark, and all the people that haven't joined them, God was very angry. That's the reason why he flooded the entire earth and killed all of them. Yes. Was God angry then? Right. So was I'll God go. Angry? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Asking a question when to answer a right. question is not an answer to that's the question. My, that's my answer. I asked you a question right. and you said one question. second, you said that you you were not saying that by the word appreciative, it isn't it isn't a denial of everything you can think and imagine. Yes. Which means that we can think or imagine what appreciative means. So now I'm asking right. you what, to what? explain to me what does the Quran say when it me when it says that Allah is appreciative? Right. What right. does it mean? Don't exactly. don't no no don't ask another question. No, don't talk about the Bible. No, Answer the question. Respond. We'll come to the Bible next. But yes, next. we will. You, you know I will. You know I will. I don't need to run away from you. I got your beat. <laughs> right. So answer the question, bro, about your right. Quran, and then sure. we'll talk about the Bible. Look, what does it mean? Is what it was before. Which when is? God is appreciative, i.e. he is happy with you. When he is happy, he, it is not like our happiness. He has his own happiness because he is God. Right. God, and it's the same thing with yours. When your God was angry, his anger isn't like our anger, is it? When he flooded the earth when Noah was inside of the ark, his anger is not like our anger. It's a different, it's godly anger. It's God. He's the one who knows. I feel like I'm a Muslim. Sh right? shall, I, shall I reply? So yes or no? Yes, please. Okay. Right. So all you did is replace one garble no, to go to... I did answer it. No, you didn't. I, let, I, let, I, let me I, reply. I did. Let me reply. Yeah. I didn't interrupt yeah. you. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. All you did is replace one garble to go with another garble to go. You said appreciative means happy. Okay. But when I ask you what happy means, when the Quran says that Allah is not like anything in his creation, you're then going to tell me that happiness is not like our happiness. So now we've got the same problem again, but now we've just swapped the word appreciative for happy. No, because because you be if you are saying... If you are truly saying that appreciative in the Quran when it says Allah is appreciative yeah. is equal to happiness for human beings, no, no, then th there you go, he's not saying that. Right. So I'm hold on one second. Let me finish. 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 Because you, you're, you're tying yourself in knots because your Quran ties you in knots. The Quran states on one hand, Allah is not like anything he has created. I agree with that. I but then it uses statements that imply certain meanings within created so sense. Let me finish. 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 And that is why you're in a bind. Because you said that it's happiness. So if, if by happiness you mean what I experience as happiness, then that means Allah is like his creation. But you'll say, no, that's not true. So now we're back to, well, what does happiness mean? We haven't actually solved the problem. We've just swapped one word out for another word. Now you said something about the Bible, right? You said something about the Bible. I've already... Now, the thing is, as a Christian, I believe that the Bible was written by men, inspired by the Spirit of God. So your, your, your Quran, which is supposedly the literal Word of God, is now no better than man's written words. No better than man's written words. Right? The Scriptures are clear. There is no shadow of changing in God. That means that he... No shadow of changing in God. That's what it means. Now, what that does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? No shadow of changing. It means that God is not moved. He does not move from a state of non-appreciation to appreciation. So what happened with Jesus? But, he came but, down but, as a man so that but, he moved but in your Quran, there Come is appreciation. On, so on. Allah has transitioned. Yourself. Allah has changed. Right. So, right, do you, you want to try, try to reply? And please don't complain when I interrupt you because sure. you've sure. interrupted okay. me constantly. Sure. I'm fine. Great, you good. You Go won't on. complain Go when on. I interrupt I you. I won't. Great, okay. Jesus. You said now that God doesn't change his mood. Yeah, yes he took no? on a humanity. Perfect. There you go. So God changed. Yes or no? No. He his mood. No, because yes the doctrine of the incarnation, yes the doctrine right. of the incarnation says that there is no change of the divinity. So he did, simply creates he a humanity change. and he fills it. So did he change when no. he went from God to Jesus? No, he didn't. Oh, so it literally same. in the God council the yeah, when he went from God you know, to Jesus. You see, this is a this is the point. When Christ takes onto himself a humanity, 
The divinity is not changed into another substance. The divinity is not confused with the humanity. It does not change the humanity. And it does not become some alternate... There is no change. That makes no sense. That's what Christians... There is no change. We don't... No, no, what it means is this. What we're saying is the divinity does not become humanity. You're saying the divinity becomes humanity. We're not saying the same statement. Sure. Did you get that? Sure. Did you hear that? Sure, yes. We're not saying the same statement. Okay. You're telling me that God went from God to a human form, which sure was part God gave blah, blah, blah. No, I, I said exactly the opposite of that. What, what, what? I said you the said divinity it? does not become a human. I okay. didn't say the divinity so, becomes a human. Jesus a God or not? Right, so let me answer that. Yeah, let me answer that. So what happens at the incarnation, and I noticed that you're running away from the problem in the oh, Quran, no. but what happens at the incarnation, and then we'll come back to the Quran, <laughs> is that God <laughs> creates a humanity over there, right? And then he fills it with himself. Wow. The humanity is not the divinity. The divinity doesn't move into a humanity. So is it, it is simply it, 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 the person, that instantiation that I am fills fills the humanity. Now let's come back to the Quran. That makes no sense. No, no, no. no, no. Let's no, come no. back to the Quran. Why are you running you've from the question no about sense. the mean? What you, does happy mean? Said you Jesus said, wait, wait, wait. What you said that Allah is happy with us. He's pleased with you. Right, what, 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 so what, what does happy mean? He's pleased with you. So, so, so what we've done again is we've changed. No. First we had appreciative, right. we replaced that with happiness, and now we're replacing happiness with pleased. You but you've still not I told me what it I means. Word You're like a transgender a militant who can't describe what a woman is. <laughs> You're like a transgender militant <laughs> that can't God, describe what a was. What, what, God, what, God, what, you don't have priests. Your laws you don't, don't have, have priests. Right. There's a gay the mosque in South Africa. The equivalent. The you don't have the equivalent. Have, have, you don't have the equivalent. Gay priests. And, and I'm calling gay every Christian to protest well, the, yeah, the synod yeah, yeah, yeah. in no November. Come to pro come no to London and protest those no apostate no bishops no and priests no during the, the synod. No, no. Right. So We're let's come back. So let's, let's come back to the question because here's what you did. Sure. Yeah. I showed right. you. A, wait, no, wait, wait, let's go back because there's all these people that came late. Let me recap very quickly. Very quickly. You just said I, 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 I should, Would you like no to sense. do this timed? No, I don't want to do timed. Right, right. well, well, then the, the less you interrupt, right, no, the quicker I'll finish I what I I'm saying. Five minutes. I've been here for an hour. Now. You yes. haven't been here for an hour, yes, but it is now close on. to an hour. No, it is an hour. It's close to an hour. It's 45 minutes, 49 oh, minutes, God. right? It's an hour. Okay, so I showed you a verse in the Quran that said Allah was appreciative. Yes. I said, what does that mean? You said that Allah's appreciation is not the same as our appreciation. So I said, okay, so what does it mean to be appreciative? And then you said happiness. And I said, well, what does it mean for Allah to be happy? And then you said pleased. Well, now let me ask you again. Is Allah pleased in the same way that I am? And if not, no. what does it mean to say Allah is pleased with me? What does it mean so to say Allah is pleased? you want Allah to explain something that only he has to you without using our words. Is, That's what you want. Is, is, shall I reply? Yes. Okay. So what I'm pointing out to you is that your Quran says on one hand, that it is pure guidance, clear guidance in clear Arabic, and yet there are words that have no meaning in your Quran because the Quran commits you to the theological principle that Allah is not like his creation. So that means all the words that are used in the Quran that are creative, i.e. we understand them from the terms of creation, are meaningless terms. So you've replaced appreciative with happiness, happiness with please. Tell me, what does it mean for Allah to be pleased? It's kind of crazy to think that a Christian, that in his book, shows so much examples of God being angry. Yeah. From God killing people. Yeah. God drowning people. Yeah. Of him clearly being angry. Yeah. Coming to me and asking me, why is your God angry and have feel? Right. Makes no, 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 no sense. Shall I, shall I, shall I square that circle for you now? Yes, go right, I'm going to square the circle square for him. Right. Are you all listening? You're, you're all listening. Yeah, I love how he's like a guy Where's my hype man? He's like, you've been <laughs> late. Where you've been all day, up, Latino? Come on time. Right? So, so let me square this circle for you. The defense, the, and I, know, I love this guy, and I hope, I hope you feel the love, and I hope you know that I love you. And I'm going to give you a gift, as I always do, every time we have a nice conversation, right? Right? But, but here's the thing. He's, to defend his Quran, he's appealing to the Bible. So he's putting the Quran on the same level as a man-made book. He's saying, 
right. Let me finish, let me finish. I'm, fini I'm, I'm squaring that circle. So to defend his Quran from the problem that I've presented to him, he's now put the Quran and the Bible on the same level. We Christians believe that the Bible is man's words inspired by God. And he's right, he's right to point out the Bible does talk about God having emotions in the same way that I'm pointing out in the Quran. But why does it make sense in the Bible? I'll tell you why. Because the Bible teaches that man is made in the image of God. Amen. And so there is a touchstone between God and man in the image of God in man. So we can appreciate what does it mean for God to be angry because we know what it means for us to be angry. Muslims don't have that concept. And so they are back to the problem of they've got words in their Quran that describe God as having emotions, but they can't explain what the words mean. So therefore the words are meaningless words. So Bob here is cri criticizing me comparing the Quran to the Bible while over here every single right, e let's say it's fine every <laughs> single day when he's arguing with Muslims when a, a, a Muslim comes tells him a verse about the Bible what does he do he brings a verse from the Quran he's one of the biggest hypocrites of it. Bob come on you know this very well and secondly the way the reason I'm I'm doing it is because I can show his hypocrisy he says it's not fine with our side but when it happens with the Bible Oh, no, it's fine. But with you guys, no, it's not. Come on, man. Can I reply to that? Yes, please. Right. So let me just demonstrate why it's not hypocrisy. Because I believe that the Quran is all man's words. Oh, you do believe that? The Quran is not from God. It's from men. So for me to compare man's words to man's words is fine. Oh, so but what he did yeah. is he, to defend his Quran, compared it not only to men's words, but to words that he believes were corrupt words. So he's to defend his Quran, comparing it to a book that he says is men's corrupt words. And he's using the Bible to try and defend the Quran, but he has never addressed the original argument. Let's be clear about what that argument is. The Quran claims to be clear Arabic, clear guidance that explains everything. The Quran says that Allah is not like anything in his creation, but the Quran says that Allah is appreciative. Appreciation is a characteristic of the created being. I am appreciative to God. I thank God for what he does for me. What the hell does it mean for God to be appreciative to me? What can we have you whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, so, so I ask him, what does appreciation mean? And he says, is it, is it like me being appreciative? He has to say no. Why? Because he believes that Allah is not like his creation. So he just replaces one word with another. Now it's happiness. But is Allah happy in the way that I'm happy? No. no. So therefore, what does happiness mean? Let me, let, what does happiness mean? So Bob has clearly admitted now that the Bible is man's words. He's just said it. That's what we believe. It's man's Inspired words. Inspired by the Spirit God, of God. No, you didn't say that. That's you what said, we believe. I am comparing man's I'm words myself to now. man's words. Man's so he's words clearly inspired the, by the Spirit no, of God. I love That's people. Right. He's basically admitted that his Bible I is man-made. I'm going to if I interrupt you. It's fine. It's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind. Interrupt <laughs> me. I don't mind. I don't yeah. mind. Cool. He's admitted that the Bible is man's words. Literally admitted it right here. Not a shame. Man's words. Not a shame. Not, not God's wrong. words. It's all right. We're not ashamed. It's not God's it. words. Right. Yeah, he's ashamed. Right. We're not he's ashamed. Like, no. We're embarrassed sure. by this. Sure. You found out something sure. about perfect. Yes. perfect. 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 So everyone here now can know that the Bible is man's words. It is not God's words. It is a man's. Yes or no, Bob? Okay. So no, no, no. I just, a yes or no answer. No, no, no. I'm not going to. You gonna... do the same thing with me. Okay. I'm not. I just won't answer them. All right. Perfect. So it's man's words. The Bible is man's words. Second, he's saying uh -huh. right now, Use I'm. Same, uh, uh, he's interrupting. Tell, 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 tell your wingman to be quiet. That's what I said. Yes. Yeah. Tell the wing. No, we didn't say that. Thank you. It's on camera. camera. Yeah. It's on camera. My gift that I sent to tell you. your oh, wingman to be you quiet, so please. Yeah. You need to tell your wingman to be I quiet. Thank you. It's all right, Uncle. Thank you. I've got him. He's just digging himself a ditch. Let him dig. All right, wingman. Thank you, wingman. I appreciate it. Thanks, wingman. Right. Thank you. The reason I'm comparing it to the Bible is because yeah. I can show his hypocrisy. You cannot come here and be like, God has no emotions when there is emotions in the Bible. That is my entire point. And as I've already said, God is appreciative. When God appreciates you, his appreciation is not like ours. Same thing as God, same thing as you. 
your Bible is God's happiness or anger in the Bible the same as ours? No, he's God. His anger isn't the same thing. Therefore, you need to explain that in the first place, right? Okay. Because you make no sense. So, so and he's, he's, he's so, so, so let me reply. The Bible is so man, man's word. So he said, he said, and, and, and I'm glad that he admits that he is comparing God's words like to man's just like words. Just like you do. But what I'm comparing, as far as I'm concerned, is man's words to man's words because the Quran isn't written from, it's not from God. It was written it? by men. Let me finish, let me finish. So the, the fact of the matter is that there is a contradiction within the Islamic deen. You cannot on one side say that Allah is not like anything in his creation and then tell me that the word Allah is appreciative has real meaning. Because anything that you can think or imagine the word appreciative to communicate is not what it means when it says Allah is appreciative. So in other words, we now have this word, this sound. It sounds like our word appreciative, but it's a meaningless sound because it doesn't communicate anything that you can intelligibly understand. That is the distinction between a word and a sound. If a, if a tree falls off a branch, I'm sorry, if a branch falls off a tree, let's get it the right way around. If a branch falls off a tree, it makes a sound, but it does not communicate anything intelligible. Why? Because it's a noise. But if I make a noise like blah, 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 that's an in unintelligible noise because I haven't communicated anything to you. But the, I'm finishing. But the Quran has these terms like Allah is appreciative. But then when you ask a Muslim what does it mean for Allah to be appreciative, they can't tell you what it means. But what they can tell you is it's not what you think and it's not what you imagine it to be. So if it's not what you think it to be and it's not what you imagine it to be, then that means it's in just a noise like blah, 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 blah. And that means the Quran is just a load of nonsense, guys. So blah, 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 blah. Right, go on, respond to that. Allow him to speak. Go on. Also, the Quran says in the words of, an, of the, a noble messenger. You showed last week, yeah. Quran 69, claims it's the words of a noble messenger. Who's it? The words of? God or a noble okay. messenger? Um, it's called, so is the Old te Testament, right? Whose words is that? Okay, fine. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Bro, bro. Let me finish. Come, come on, man. Drop it. Right. Oh, I had so much stuff in my mind, but you just kept on speaking, man. No, no, wait. You got to practice, bro. One second. I know, bro. I don't, I don't debate that, yeah. that, that often, innit? One second. Oh. By the Bible. You were speaking. Oh, bro. I had it right in my mind. That's we got it. him. No, no. We no, got no, him. He's no, on the ropes no. right now. He's on the ropes. Know, You're I gonna speak, put no. that on the like the first part. Of it. Yeah, no. you, you should put that in. You should put that in the beginning. <laughs> I know, like, he's, I on know the he's, he's on the ropes. I know he's, he's, he's gonna appear right. at the. So his okay, point is that he wants God to explain what God is in human terms. However, we know that God is something we cannot comprehend in the first place. How do right. you expect him to explain it in human terms for us to comprehend? Yet he is a being, sorry, not a being, he is something that we cannot comprehend in the first place. Can I reply to that? Yes, please. Okay. Did you all hear, did you all hear what he just said? <laughs> you expect God to explain it to you in human terms, thus implying that we shouldn't expect that. But isn't that exactly what the Quran's doing? Isn't it exactly what the Quran's doing when it says Allah is appreciative? Allah is explaining in human terms something about him. Let me, let me explain why Christianity is better. Because the Christian faith, the Christian faith does have descriptions of God that speak of emotions. You know, it says that God rises like a drunken man out of sleep. That he wakes up like a that's roaring God. lion. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's well, in the that's, Bible. That's now, all right, let me finish. Let me finish. Now notice, now, notice how he wanted to jump immediately to the most literal yeah, translation. Joking, joking, the most literal interpretation whilst not allowing the same thing about the Quran. Right? And, right? But, but here's the thing. Because of the doctrine that we are made in the image of God, it means that when men inspired by the Spirit of God write that God is angry, it isn't a description of God that captures God in his essence because Christians believe that God is unknowable. 
but it captures something of God's energy, God's activity in the world from a human perspective. Because we are made in the image of God, we can understand what that means. So when it says that God is angry, it allows us to know something about what God is doing in the world. But because Muslims say that God's anger is not like our anger and nothing like what you can think or imagine, then what the hell does it mean to say that Allah is angry? It means nothing. Are we in the image of God? Who? With us, human beings. As in, in Me and you. Are we made in the image of God? In Islamically. I, I know what the answer is Islamically, no. but yes, answer from an no. Islamic perspective. No. No. Right, so what is the reference point that makes this word about some transcendent other that sits in a plane beyond all imagination and description? So you want God what, to what, say what, what makes that word over there meaningful in the created plane of created things. Where's the touch point? How do these two things meet philosophically? Can God describe himself to you? If he came down now, would he be able? Shall I ask as a, answer as a Christian? Yes. Right. As a Christian, God has and does explain himself to us through Absolutely. the words of men because we are made in the image of God. That isn't the question. I said, if God can come down now and explain himself to you, how he looks, will he be able? How he looks? How he looks. How he looks? Um, What's his form? How we look? No, no, he does. Ex yes, he, no, actually, Why? he does. Yes, hold oh, on one second. So he tells you. Yes, I'm going to. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to address that point cool. because nice. the other touchstone, which I forgot to mention, the other touchstone is the incarnation itself. Right. Because at the incarnation, when humanity That's expresses it, let me finish. That's just Jesus. Let me finish. Father, let me finish. Father. Let me finish. That at the incarnation, at the incarnation, at the incarnation, when Christ. When God creates a humanity and fills it with himself, he is the full expression of divinity in human form, which is why Jesus says, he who has seen me has seen the Father. Wow. Wow. So well, yes, and therefore, the when we witness emotions expressed in Christ as a human being, we see a representation of the character of God. And the Holy Spirit? That's why part of that's that it's a full no, expression. No, no, no. no, Jesus, you just said you had seen me, seen the Father. No, no, no. Yeah, he, he did not say God. Well, and the Father. Yeah, the okay, God. so I'll address that point as well. Because I notice you have no answer to my argument and you no, want to no. get off the just topic as quickly as possible. No. I've already told you your answer. We're going to keep on Your going answer is, answer your answer is. God, God is appreciative, isn't the same as us. That is it. Right, but what then does He's appreciative happy. mean? We don't know because he is There God. you go. He we don't God. know. Yes, it's something and if we, we if because it's, there's something we cannot come. So not like there's God being communicated as a man. Then. Not them. Not so as like your God when he comes down as a man. Then. Right. God is a, it's a, it's something we do not know. It's too far okay. high from us for us to know anything. Can't, tell Therefore, me. when he says appreciative, yeah. it's from what we know we can interpret. Tell, tell me. Tell me. From what we can deduce and interpret that's it okay so it so we cannot know his true form and how he's appreciative how he's happy so Allah happy. has not communicated anything yes. he's just giving you I this word to, and then says you you put know. your own interpretation into know. the word wait wait so to be clear what you're saying is Allah gives you a, a word yes. right like let me just like Ave do you know what Ave means yeah so I've just given you a word right what does Ave mean right so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what you're essentially describing. Is this a Latin word or a It's a Latin word, right? So I give you the word Ave and then you make up your own meaning to that word. So just make no, up a meaning no. of the word Ave. Um, I won the debate. I won the debate. So <laughs> Ave means he won Why the debate, the right? But the point is, your perfume, bro. So it's your, it, the, the point <laughs> is, what he said is, that Allah gives us these words, we don't know what they mean, no, but it's what we, we do know what appreciative means. Ah, we, 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 we do. Know. So tell me what does it mean for Allah to be appreciative? In his case, we know what There you go then. So we're back we to the what, problem. We know what the word itself You're means. You're sunk, bro. No, I'm not. Sunk, you know I'm not bothered. Because it's in your own book. I, I'm starting to your feel God, bad no, that no, I'm no. beating you so your badly. God, your God has the same exact things. Right. He's angry, he is happy. All of this stuff in his Bible. Now you have you been here this. more than five minutes. Five minutes, You've an been hour. more than here, more yeah, than five minutes. You've yeah, definitely been over here an hour. Thank you very much. Do you want to keep going? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's up to you. I'm it's happy to keep going. Right, right. 
My point, I'll, I'll just probably end it at this. All right. Um, final comments. My then. point. Final comments. Final comments. Final comments. Final so comments. make them good. Perfect. Because you've got a lot to recover from. <laughs> uh, right. His point is that appreciate God cannot be happy. God cannot be sad about it. Even though in his book, all of this is the case. God is angry when he sunk all those people in Noah's Ark. God is angry when he ordered to slaughter the Amalekites and their children and their donkeys, which is crazy. But it's fine. God is angry upon all of these. God is happy when he admits people into paradise. All of this, God has emotions. However, even he would say that his emotions isn't the same as ours. Yes or no? Just a yes or no answer. Is God's emotions the same as ours? All right, just answer. Go on, answer. Okay. Here's your time. So Don't go on, on, on a lecture, please. I no, just no, no, no. These are final comments. Thank so you. finish your final comments. Oh, it's yeah. long, man. Right. You can do it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. We'll clap shot. you to the finish. Weird. As right. you stagger over the line. Wow. Thank you, man. <laughs> Right, so in his own Bible, all of this, God has emotions. God has em emotions in all of it. Yeah, when it comes to the Quran, he's like, no, God can't have this, blah, blah, blah. It's contradictory completely. And then he comes to me for comparing it to the Bible when that's all he does. When a, a Muslim man comes to him and asks him about a, bi a biblical verse, straight away he goes back to the Quran to compare it. He does it all the time, yeah, when I do it, it's bad. So you guys can clearly see the hypocrisy anyways. Secondly, when it comes to the, to the Thirdly. actual arguments, Thirdly, sorry. For the actual argument, God is not like us. We do not believe God is like us. He is never like us. He is a higher power than all of us. Therefore, his happy isn't like our happiness. His anger isn't like our anger. And um, his appreciativeness isn't like our ones. That is how God is. Our God does not come as a man. He is not us. He is a higher power like theirs, which even though it makes no sense because before he said Jesus is God, but the, his go, go, godliness doesn't enter into him, but he's used for God. It makes no sense. You guys can, and then fourthly, he admits that the Bible is the word of man, not God. So that sort of disputes everything in the first place. Okay, so in my, in my final comments, you heard him admit the point I've been making all along. That the words appreciative, anger, or any of these descriptive words don't mean anything you can think or imagine when you're talking about Allah. So if they don't think anything you can think or imagine, yeah. then whatever you understand by the word appreciative, it isn't that, right? So if it isn't that, yeah. then that means the word appreciative when it's in the Quran about Allah is the same as a branch of a tree falling off a tree. It's just a noise. It doesn't communicate anything intelligibly. That's the point of words. Words are not sounds. They are communications. Or communications of intelligible concepts. And so therefore what we see is that the Quran is full of gibberish sounds. They sound like our words, but they're not words because they don't communicate anything intelligibly. Now, what about the, the fact that we've got these things in the Bible? Okay. The words, like God's, uh, uh, God's appreciation, or God's love, or God's anger in the Bible, are descriptions of God's activity in creation. They are energies in creation. They are what God is doing in creation. They're not descriptions of God's essence. Why do they communicate something intelligibly and meaningfully to us? For two reasons. One, because of the doctrine that we are made in the image of God. And two, because of the incarnation. Which means that when Christ became sad and he wept at Lazarus being in the tomb, we get an image of what it means for God to, to, to do something in creation with things that are against his will. When we see that God becomes angry because we become angry, we understand that that is saying something about what God is doing when he punishes those things that are against his will. In other words, they are communicating intelligibly. Now, the fact of the matter is we Christians are without shame say that the words of the Bible are the words of men inspired by the Spirit of God. Notice he left that bit, last bit off every single time. 
You know it's that because the Dawagandist only wants to hear what they want to hear. They don't. They don't do intelligent conversation. I am arguing from an Islamic position to point out the problems of the Islamic position. He can't even argue from a Christian position to argue problems with a Christian no, position he's because he doesn't hasn't taken the time to understand it. Okay. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. since the Quran is riddled with self-evident contradiction, it is a false teacher. The, Bible is saying, wow. the Christian wow. faith King does not Bible. have the same problem and you've seen that demonstrated in the debate. And that's why you need to pick up a Bible. You need to not listen to the Dawagandists active in the park lying about Christianity. And you need to speak and come to and speak to intelligent, knowledgeable Christians about the Christian faith. Any questions to either of us?